Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I decided to bring back weekly favorites. You guys really wanted to see them again, which I'm glad that you do because I love making these videos. It gives me the chance to let you guys know what I've been using for the week, things I've been loving, things that didn't work out. Sometimes I'm like so excited to share something with you guys and I can't tell you right away. So I like doing them during the week or weekly for you guys, so I'm really excited. Um, and thank you guys on your feedback on my vlogs. I know some of you guys are enjoying them. I just really like making vlogs, they're just easy, and I just feel more myself when I'm doing them, I don't know. But I just really enjoy doing vlogs. And if you watched my last one, I'm gonna give you guys a little update. Um, I'll link the video here for you guys, but I am doing one meal a day, and I am doing the keto lifestyle. Today is day five of eating one meal a day and I have to say I am doing really well you guys the first three days was extremely hard not as hard as I thought but it was still hard you know like yesterday was actually it was very tempting for me yesterday because my aunt made some homemade bread and you guys know if you've made homemade bread the smell just gets to you like instantly when I smell bread I want to have it but I said no I kept telling myself that Lisa, if you have that bread, if you have it, you're going to regret it and you're not going to feel good after you eat it. And I did find that that really helped. I find that chewing gum has also helped, although I don't chew a lot of gum, but if I feel like a craving coming on, I will just chew some gum and I make sure it's sugar-free as well. Um, yeah, so that has been going really well for me and I've lost three pounds already in five days and I think that is really good <laughs> I mean for me to lose three pounds it takes a lot for me to lose three pounds I'm not sure why that's just how my body is and this has just been working really well for me and I see myself continuing to do this for a really long time so if you guys missed that vlog I will link it right here and yeah so far I've been really enjoying the one meal a day Okay, so now we're going to move on to some skincare. I just have a few items, but this one I was so excited to share with you guys. I have been a fan of Drunk Elephant. I'm, I'm still a very big fan of Drunk Elephant. It's just too pricey. The Canadian dollar is ridiculous, okay? The prices that we pay for the makeup and skincare at Sephora is a little bit extreme, and I've been really trying to really watch my spending because you guys know the economy is not doing well right now and i just want to make sure i'm not overspending on things i really don't need so i've been really turning into more drugstore products more than anything uh, for my repurchases now this is from indeed laboratories and it's the retinol reface the Drunk Elephant one was nice. It was good in the beginning. The first week with the Drunk Elephant one, I did start to flake and get really dry in certain areas, so I really had to hold back on that retinol. This right here, I don't know if it's because my skin is used to it, because I've been using retinol for a really long time and I do use it every night before bed. But this, I only paid $19.99 for it, and it is the best retinol that I have ever used. I don't know if you guys have noticed in some of my previous videos, but I have really, f like I have those fine lines, those smile lines, and I have lines on my forehead. I've only been using this for six or seven days. Yeah, six or seven days, and I can't even believe the difference. This, this to me is a dupe for the Drunk Elephant. It has that same texture. It is a cream like the Drunk Elephant one. So... It blends into the skin and it just um, absorbs really fast. Sorry, that's what I meant to say. So it absorbs really fast. It leaves your skin super smooth and soft. And even the next day, like when you wake up in the morning, your skin just looks so good. And it also feels very tight and firm. And that's what I didn't get with the Drunk Elephant one. I like it when I wake up when my skin feels really tight and firm because I know that it's doing something. So I really recommend this. It doesn't say the percentage of retinol, but I think it is a 1% from the research that I've been doing online. So where I found that information, I will link that down below for you guys so you can take a look. But if you're just getting into retinol, I think this is a good one to start. The only thing is, is to start very slow, especially if you are new to retinol. 
start off maybe once a week and then work your way up. I do mine every single night. My skin is just used to it. So I highly recommend this stuff. I'm, I can't even believe how good this stuff is. And my smile lines, they're like, they're more plump. <laughs> and it does claim to do that, this stuff. So good job indeed. I really, really like it. And for the price point, you guys, wow. Like, I, I can't even believe it's only $19.99. And the Drunk Elephant, I believe I paid $65, I think, Canadian. It's quite pricey, it is. Um, and I've also been using, while well, speaking of Drunk Elephant, I've been using the Luxury Facial Oil. I never ever bought the full size, but I bought a bunch of these with my 100 point perk. And this is the third one that I'm going through, but I like this to use after I put on my retinol and I've been using my Jade Roller to just massage that in. And I find that this has really helped my fine lines as well and it just helps lift and firm the skin. I've been really enjoying using my Jade Roller now that I have a little bit more time. Now that I'm home, I am spending a little bit more time on my skincare routine and being really good about doing my morning and nighttime. I'm gonna be doing more skincare videos and sharing with you guys what I, the basic things that you do need, because I get asked all the time, like, you know, what are some of the products that I need to use daily. So I'm gonna do a video on that for you guys. You just need a basic skincare routine, really. You don't need a lot of product. So stay tuned for that video. Let's talk about hair. I follow this wonderful girl named Tiffany. She has an Instagram page called, sorry, I wrote it down, T Kelly 130 I'm gonna link her down below. She has some really great recommendations and she's so pretty to look at. She's got beautiful bl blue eyes and blonde hair. She's just a beautiful um, lady and I really enjoy watching her on Instagram. So make sure to check her out. But she was talking about this Unite um, blonde shampoo. I was using a blonde shampoo from Sally Beauties, which I did like, but after a while I just didn't see any results. And because I'm not naturally blonde, um, I have, you can see my roots are quite dark. But when I put highlights in my hair, they like to pull orange and sometimes yellow, which I did have a few spots in here that were quite orange. And this stuff really toned it down. It was right here where it was like really orange. And I used it a few times and look at the difference. Like I, I can't even believe the difference. So this stuff works. I've heard really great things about this brand. But if you're looking for a good blonde shampoo that's gonna help tone and get rid of that brassiness in your hair, definitely give this a try. If you have gray hair as well, this is gonna just bring it back to life. So highly recommend this stuff. And then I decided to try this because my hair is super fine. I have a lot of it, but it doesn't hold whatsoever. So I like a lot of body to the roots. And I have to say, I've tried a lot of volumizing sprays, you guys, and this one <laughs> has to be hands down the best one that I've tried. Now, you have to be careful when you use it because the first time I used it, I used too much. I used it with my hair wet. You can also use it dry, but using it wet, I would just seriously just like a couple sprays underneath the root pretty far away, not not too close, because if you add too much, it's it's gonna feel really uh, tacky in the hair, which I personally don't like. But this, if you wanna add some volume when your hair is dry, this is gonna do the trick. I know so many ladies that suffer from um, like no volume in their hair and they're always looking for something out there and I know I'm one of them, but I don't know if I need to look any further because I think this stuff is amazing. It is a liquid volume instant texture hold. So this is a liquid to powder, I believe. Let me see. Yeah, it's a liquid to powder spray. Make sure to shake it up really well. But I'm telling you guys, if you're looking for something to give you a ton of body, this stuff is going to do it. I'm going to link the, these products down below for you guys. I highly recommend checking them out if you want to try something new. 
Really quickly, I just want to share a pair of shoes with you that I ended up getting at Walmart and I thought it was such a good deal. They were regular $30 on sale for $15 and they are so comfortable. If you like a really good wedge and a stylish wedge, which I think you can pair this with anything, with shorts, dresses, you can dress it up, dress it down. It has this beautiful wedge with the white detailing at the bottom. It has another detail of this wood and they are super, super comfortable. And I like something to wrap around my ankle because I have really tiny ankles. So sometimes I need something just around there so that they don't look too, too skinny. But these are so comfortable, you guys. And for $15, why the heck not? If I can find them online, I will definitely link them, but make sure to go to your Walmart and pick yourself a pair. They came in black and also in a nude color, which I'm thinking about going back to getting the nude but I really shouldn't because I have a same pair, pretty close to the same pair that I bought at, bought at Ardeen's, but I find these ones to be a lot more comfortable. $15, you guys, $15. Now we're gonna move on to makeup. I haven't been wearing any foundation at all this week except for today. <laughs> I am wearing foundation today just because I wanted to switch things up, but for this entire week, I wasn't wearing any foundation. I just really love the look of it. I still wear concealer and powder, I just find that in the summertime, it's warmer. I don't want a full face of like foundation and concealer and powder. I want my skin to kind of breathe a little bit more. So I've been using the Dermalogica Skin Perfect Primer. This smooths away fine lines. It has a slight tint, so it's not gonna add a ton of coverage, but it's gonna even out the skin tone. And it adds just a little bit of a uh, natural uh, radiant glow, not dewy, just a natural light glow. So I really enjoy wearing this underneath my concealer and my powder. I'm actually, I'm actually almost out of this. It does have an SPF of 30. There's others out there that I do wanna try first before I go ahead and repurchase this, but I do really love this product and it has anti-aging properties in there, so it's also good for your skin and it's doing something throughout the day. For my concealer, I have tried something different and I have to say, I don't hear a lot of people talk about this concealer and I was watching a YouTuber <sighs> I should have looked her up before I started this video. I will have her link down below. She's got great videos and I love her personality. She's just really fun to watch, but she was talking about this NYX Born to Glow Radiant Concealer. I'm closer to my 40s, I'm 39. I do find that underneath my eyes, I have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles and dark circles dark circles for me run in my family so that is nothing new but the fine lines it bothers me <laughs> so I need a concealer that is not gonna make my under eyes look dry and cakey and sit into my fine lines and this it's really good for me it conceals really nice. It covers my dark circles. I'd say it's more of a medium. You can definitely build it up to a full coverage if you want. Medium is my preferred. I don't like anything too heavy under the eyes, but this is so lightweight. I love the Milani Conceal, Conceal and Perfect, I think it's called. It's one of my favorite concealers at the drugstore, but I have to say this one might top it for me. Um, I've heard really great things. <laughs> I'm not focusing. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you guys. I've heard really great things about the foundation as well, but I'm not going to be trying that anytime soon because I have so many foundations that I need to get through first. But this concealer is so good, and I do recommend checking it out. If you have oily, oily skin or oily like under eyes, this is not going to be the concealer for you, but if you have uh, fine lines, you seem to be really dry, you have more mature skin, I would definitely give this one a try. For my bronzer this week, I cannot put this down. It is the Milani Silky Matte Bronzing Powder. I have the shade Suntan. I'm trying to use up my Cover FX bronzing powder because I have a project pan that I'm doing and I haven't been reaching for it at all because I just, I can't put this one down. I love it that much. It is so silky. It blends so nicely and it just looks seamless on the skin. It's what I'm wearing today and the color is perfect. I love the color. 
in store they only have three shades online i believe there is four so there is one even deeper than this shade online this is the deepest in store so just keep that in mind it is quite pigmented but it's so easy to blend and it just looks so good on the skin and i was watching another youtuber and i wish i would have grabbed her name again but i will have her link down below she actually likes this one better than the charlotte tilbury one which i am so glad because I am not willing to pay the price point for her bronzer. I am sorry, unless I get it on sale or it's gifted to me. But I, like I said, I am on a budget. And to know that this is comparable to the Charlotte Tilbury made me super happy. And I'm so glad that I got, got this to try because I think it is so good. This powder does have that beachy scent, very similar to the one by Physicians Formula, but it's definitely not as strong. If you didn't like the one from Positions Formula because of the scent, then definitely give this one a try. But like I said before, I like this one even more than the Positions Formula one. I'll just swatch the color really quickly for you guys. There is the shade. It is not too warm. It's not too orange. To me, it is like the perfect neutral color. So that is in the shade Sun. I really hope that I'm focusing throughout this video. If not, you guys, I do apologize. I will try and fix it. I'm going to move on to blush. In the summertime, I like to layer my blushes. I like to add a cream underneath and a powder on top. So I'm going to talk about the cream one first. This is by Maybelline. It is their Cheek Heat. I have the shade Nude Burn. I think if you're going to try any color from the line, I would definitely try Nude Burn because I feel that it's most versatile and it goes with a lot of my other blushes and I just really like the formula of this it blends really nicely it's super lightweight it doesn't break up on my skin and get patchy most cream blushes will tend to look patchy on my skin type I do have a little bit of texture as well and I don't find that this cream product adds any texture it looks very smooth and soft on the skin and it's just very easy to blend and I do really like this color and on top of that, I've been using this blush by Essence. It is the blush in the shade B Lifting. It is a gorgeous color. And this is probably one of their better formulas of blushes. I've always really enjoyed their blushes that they come out with, but this one definitely by far is my favorite. I feel like it has like some sort of like not a tacky feel but i almost feel like it's got this like grip to it i can't really explain it but <laughs> that's the best way i could describe it even putting it on my cheeks i can feel that it's like gripping onto the skin and that is what makes this blush so nice for me because i do soak up a lot of my blush and i find that this lasts a really long time on the cheeks even by itself, I find that it the lasting power is still good. I don't really need to layer it with a cream. But because it's warm outside, I just like to layer both of these. I, I should have swatched this. I will swatch the cream one for you. Two shades. This is the one by Essence in B Lifting. And this is Nude Burn by Maybelline. So you can see how beautiful this cream blush is. It just blends so nicely. And I love the color. These two paired together are beautiful. And then the Essence one is just so pretty. If you guys hear music in the background, that is my kids playing fishy on me. I don't know, it's from Fortnite. I'm not a Fortnite fan. I actually wish Fortnite never existed, to be honest with you. So don't mind the noise in the background. For my highlighter this week, I decided to pull out one of my all-time favorites from RMS Beauty. This is their Luminizing Powder in the shade Grand Dam. I just love the brand. I love their packaging. It is so sleek and so clean looking. Now, looking at this highlighter, it doesn't look like much. It actually looks really boring, even when you swatch it. When I swatched it for the first time, I was like, what is everybody talking about? But I'm telling you guys, it just leaves this beautiful, natural, radiant glow to the skin. And you can definitely build it up as well. So there it is on the back of my hand, but it looks even better on the face. I really enjoy a lot of RMS Beauty products. Leave me some of your favorites in the comments. If you guys have tried any, I would love to hear them. Lastly, we have lips. I haven't been able to put this gloss down. It's by Pat McGrath. It's in the shade Love Potion. It is the perfect like pale pink with a little bit of shimmer. It looks good on its own. It's good to layer with. It is not sticky. 
It's very thin because I don't like anything too thick. I just really enjoy the formula and the color is just so pretty. I'll just swatch it for you guys really quickly, although, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't look like much either in the swatch, but if you're looking for that like perfect, like pale pink with a little bit of shimmer, let me just, I can't focus on anything today. My camera is just giving me grief. So there is the shade right there. Isn't that pretty? For my lip liner that I pair it with, I've been reaching for these two. I don't hear anybody talk about this one anymore. It is by Makeup Forever. It's in the shade Anywhere Caffeine. I love this. It's been a favorite of mine for a really long time. It is like the perfect nude, nude color. It's quite dark, but it pulls a little, a little bit rosy as well. Just focus that. So there is the color. It pairs well with a lot of my nude lipsticks and the lasting power on it is really nice. Definitely check these out. I believe you could even use them on your eyes. I've never tried this shade on my eyes, but maybe I will one day just to kind of test it out. And this one they no longer make. I'm trying to use it up. It's by Urban Decay, Urban Decay by the Gwen Stefani collection in the shade Ex-Girlfriend. This is old, but it is still going strong. It is still smooth and it glides on the lips really nicely. I just really like this color. I don't know if I can get a good swatch because I need to sharpen it. It's a little bit lighter than Anywhere Caffeine, but they're very similar. There's Anywhere Caffeine, and this one is Ex-Girlfriend by Urban Decay. I don't think they make this color anymore, but this is very close to, I want to say, Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury, and there's another one by Remmel that is very close to this one and i believe nyx has one that's very similar if i can find those i'll link those down below that completes my weekly favorites my kids are starting to act up downstairs so i gotta get them under control i hope that you enjoyed it i hope that you guys like that i'm bringing these back if you did please give me a thumbs up it really does help out my channel don't forget to hit that notification button as well so that you guys get notified every time i upload a video I don't know what's going on, but some of you are just not seeing them. Maybe that will help. And yeah, that is it, guys. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Enjoy it. And remember, guys, to love one another. We are all one. We are all the same. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.